All right. Uh, thank you, everyone, for coming. Um, uh, really appreciate the uh, the turnout. Um, as always, these meetings are recorded for people who uh, who aren't able to um, to be here. Um, so if that's a concern for anyone, um, please please let me know. Um, introductions. Uh, Jose, have you been on this call before? I think you have. Yes, I have several times. Yeah, I I can never remember who it is. <laughs> Imagination has been here. I yeah. apologize. I, I, sorry, sorry. Yeah, I I am from. Uh, I don't know whether it is worth for me to introduce myself again. Uh, no, it's fine. No, I I, I anyway, that's I my fault. Imagination, indeed. <laughs> yes, um, my fault. Um, so uh, the agenda, um. Obviously, introductions. Uh, board farm status. Um, I have moved our board farm modifications to the Purple Foundation uh, organization. I still have the pull request from the non root test users. Um, we're, the one on the Purple Foundation has that those changes in there to indicate that that's what we are running. Um, I need to make some changes based upon um, some of the feedback from Matthew, but I just haven't had time to actually. Uh, make the changes to the pull request. So it's uh, it's slightly off there, but I will get that up pretty soon. Um, the Ansible work we're using to manage our board farm is now up at, uh, at um, the Purple Foundation organization. Uh, I still have to put some a readme on it, but it's pretty straightforward to use, I think. Uh, there's only one file that you really need to modify, and that is um, the in-group underscore vars there's a file called dots.yml and that's where all the uh, chain all the uh, variables are set um, so I was trying to make that as simple as possible for people to modify for their own use um, I'm also now that we're adding another board one of the other boards from Qualcomm uh, I am uh, very working through the clear tutorial of how do you actually do this um, with the, what, what kind of board was it? Sorry, I missed that. Um, I think it's the AP one thirty something. I could be wrong on that. Maybe a one thirty five if it has. Yeah. Yeah. Probably. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Probably. I think that's it. Um. Yeah. It's so, in the other rooms. So I don't have it. Can I just can I just interject? Maybe I missed something, but you've got the board farm on Purple Foundation. You got the board farm on QCA, which is. Which is pulling from which? Uh, Purple Foundation's pulling from QCA. Okay. Um, yes, or the QCA is the uh, is the the uh, I don't know what to call it. The canonical. There we go. The the canonical one. Um, the Purple Foundation one is is just to illustrate what we're running, um, because it you know might be different slightly. Um, yeah. So, did that answer your question? Yes, indeed. Awesome. Um, so, uh, the other thing is that we still have the issue open um, up for the the discussion of reorganization of repos. There hasn't been a lot of comments on that, but obviously we would we would like more um, on that. Uh, we started an IRC channel. Uh, it is. Uh, board farm on Freenode. Um, if you use IRC, please, please join. I am, I'm not a big IRC fan, but uh, I am using it. So, and it's, and we're got some good discussion going. Um, we're also going to log that, but I have not got, had the time to set up a logger. So, uh, we also set up a mailing list, which I don't believe has been used very much yet, but we just set it up this week. So it, feel free to join that um, if you have not yet. Um, and we can discuss anything related to board farm that because obviously discussions about um, you know general things that they don't make sense for a, a bug report. So with that, a um, couple other things that have come up um, related to board farm. Uh, I know Matthew McClintock had had suggested the idea of could purple um, run test uh, basically run pull requests uh, or or um, run tests of board farm 
um, every time Board Farm gets a pull request from someone to then test to see if it, you know, if it causes any problems. Um, I think we're open to that idea, but it's more just figuring out time to do that. So it effectively be testing Board Farm to make sure that, you know, if you get a pull request, it doesn't break everything. That is, and everything's supposed to work. There are a lot of issues with that. Like, for example, well, if they, uh, you know, they, they give us a test, well, what do we do? Like, if the hardware we use to, to verify that Board Farm still works, if it doesn't have that hardware in it, then we can't really test the test. Um, this gets very meta very quick, it seems like. But um, any any thoughts on this? Um, I think it's generally a good idea, but it's uh, it'll be a process, I think. It, it's more useful when the rate of pull requests is kind of high and there's mm -hmm. a lot of things to check. But at the rate that it's going, you know, your daily builds are fine for now and, and probably will be for a while. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, I, I do know that, um, you know, GitHub has webhooks and it could trigger your Jenkins instance. And yep. it's definitely possible. It's just, you know, take some time. Yeah, definitely. I think it's a good idea. Um, and I think it's something that would make sense. And we do, I think, have um, enough extra uh, boards to, you know, at least run, see if board farm you know, you get a pull request to board farm to add whatever, mm -hmm. we can run a test on that on an actual board. And just... at the most basic thing, you know, you don't even have to go the step of running on a board. You could just like, could you import, you know, files from this directory or could you, you know, just run BFT and, and make sure it doesn't crash just listing the help. Because, uh, you know, I've seen change or pull requests that have broken that kind of very simple things. Um, yep. That. <laughs> That's a good idea. We, we probably could do something like that. The other thing we could probably do is the Python, um, use some like the static analysis stuff that they have for Python. I don't, I don't remember what's called offhand, but just you know, say, is there anything obviously wrong? Um, mm -hmm. Looks like it doesn't yeah, compile or something. That exists too, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think that's something we should discuss on the mailing list and kind of talk about what are the things we would want in that. And then I can start looking to what I can get done. Um, but it should be should be feasible. Sounds good. Awesome. Um, I think that's it from my end. Is there anything else people talked about with Board Farm from all the all the progress that people have been been making? It's a quiet board farm related call. All right. Um, well, uh, I guess we move on to funding open WRT projects. Um, we obviously had our presentations last week, which were awesome. Um, we are uh, looking to fund um, a number of the projects. Uh, I don't, we haven't got quite to the point where we've decided. I think that'll probably happen in the next couple of weeks. Uh, the big thing that we'll, uh, we're still kind of figuring out is the TR69 work because we have um, that call represented, I think, four different stacks of TR69. Uh, so the question is what exactly uh, is right um, and the one to fund and also to figure out what's appropriate um, integration, you know, the, the appropriate projects that we, that Purple can fund. So. We're setting up a call to discuss uh, TR69. Um, it was I was hoping for next week, but uh, um, some of the members can't make it next week, so um, it would probably be the week after, uh, and that would be just uh, I really I don't think that there's any any restriction, but just anyone interested in this work, but particularly the people from uh, Soft at Home as well as Luca uh, Felix um, and some of the folks from um, uh, Technicolor are, are very interested in that. So uh, that's probably the first uh, step on that. And then once we get a, an idea, a better idea on, you know, what all these stacks represent, what are their unique characteristics, what's better, what's worse, um, what's what level of integration work and how closely it integrates into OpenWT, once we get a better sense of all these, uh, we can then um, decide on what exactly to fund. But 
um, I think it's probably, I think we're, we're confident we're going to fund something in this area. It's just figuring out exactly what it should be and what brings the most benefit to everyone. Um, I think that is it for funding open WRT projects. Um, Kathy, do you have anything that, that we didn't, that I didn't mention there? Uh, well, just uh, wondering, are we doing all the rest of the review offline or did, did we schedule another call? Because I had to cut out to. Oh, yeah. I was just arriving at Maker Fair and I had to cut off the call. Once. Yes. We, we, I, I, we're doing, we're just assigning the funding offline. Um, okay. All right. Yep. Good. That, but that was, that was pretty much everything. Uh, there yeah. wasn't very much left. Um, but we, yeah, we had all the presentations. It went very well. Um. Regulatory update, uh, nothing from me. Um, actually, I think it was two weeks ago, uh, I saw that um, uh, Emory had, there was an article with that Emory was involved in with um, Belkin about uh, making sure that the, uh, that OpenWRT was modifiable on some of their uh, WRT routers. Uh, that was, um, uh, obviously, it is not a perfect solution because you the the radio is not modifiable anymore, but it does meet the requirements. Uh, but it's only for a select set of routers um, from Belkin. So uh, positive for I guess the Open WRT community uh, um, on some level. And obviously, not the most ideal, um, but it is a um, illustrate that it is actually possible to do this. Um, but uh, just uh, had that. Um, Open WRT Summit. Uh, I can uh, announce that uh, the the vote ended yesterday. I haven't actually uh, done the full counting, but I do know that we voted in favor of co-locating with ELCE this year, um, and then ideally looking at uh, having an event with Battle Mesh next year, with obviously the permission of Battle Mesh. Um, so we will be uh, co-located with ELCE this year. Uh, not exactly sure on the date yet. We're still working that out with LinuxCon to figure out the various, uh, you know, the details. And then obviously the committee would decide on what date they wanted, um, whether they wanted it before, after, or during. I, I don't, it, we're still working that out. Um, anything else related to the summit that I did not remember, that I didn't mention? I don't think there is. I. I just always like to mention that it's the ELCE is co-located. It's going on at the same time as the Open IoT Summit Europe. Yes. So the Open IoT Summit, you know, Open IoT is great for IoT hubs, mm -hmm. IoT routers, all the things that collect collect up information from the edge devices, the little things. So mm -hmm. I think it's relevant. Um, you know, basically both those conferences overlap in their mm -hmm. content in some degree with respect to open liberty. Absolutely. Definitely. That's it's a it's a going to be I think it's going to be a great combination. Um uh oh, I just I re actually remembered something uh board farm status. Um the uh I, there was a post on the lead mailing list and I did email back. Um there's a company or, or it's a nonprofit ISP. It's I don't remember the name. It's some someone in Europe. They're actually they actually asked about. Oh yeah, we want to do automated testing of our devices, and um, end of uh end of lead. And uh, I just responded and said, you know, Board Farm exists. We're happy to you know work with you and you know help you make sure that uh it works. You know, it works for your use cases and for everybody's. So, um. I haven't actually heard back, but uh, that was yesterday, so they may not have got, they may not have had a chance to get back to me. So we will uh, see if anything comes with that. But I think it'd be great to have them involved because they said they sounded like they had a fairly uh, significant. Um, They're willing to put a pretty significant investment into actually getting that working, um, and they didn't even know that Board Farm existed. So it's good to uh, let them know. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Very cool. <laughs> Is is there any up? You mentioned lead. Is there any update that the lead and OpenWRT developers core teams they've had any dialogue or discussions yet? Does anyone know? I 
I've watched the mailing list. There was they began a discussion on the mailing list. I'm not sure um, what how much progress was made. Um, uh, it was a little heated, unsurprisingly, uh, but uh, at least everyone's talking. I, I think that there's probably I've got a good feeling that it's probably going to be worked out, but. Um, I, I think, yeah, I wish people could come together because mailing lists, it's too easy to get emotional and read things the wrong way. You don't get the full interactive context of the people. I, I, you know, I wish there was a way to have a summit next week or something, you know, <laughs> or next month, you know, but it'd be, it'd be nice. it's a little hard. Yeah. yeah. Something in, informal, I don't know, some way for some of the principal people to come together. Who knows? Yeah, uh, I think the big thing that it, um, and this is just my opinion, so obviously other people could completely disagree with me, is that um, it's just working through what what are the real differences here? Because I, I don't think that they're, it, outside of the rather dramatic uh, move to start lead and the way it kind of was announced and all those things, I don't think the actual differences are all that far apart um, in actually what do we want to have happen or what you know and when i say we is in the people in open wrt community want to have happen and what the things that the open wrt core team and and the lead uh committers what what they want to happen i don't think they're all that different honestly. well that that maybe you just spurred a an idea in my head which was which is basically you know maybe we should put a purple doc up that says you know rose columns open over t lead diffs uh and then comments like why why are there differences and what are those differences needed for and you know overall if there's no you know maybe there is you know one element that's different and they want to keep it that way that's fine but 95 percent of it is the same I, that would still be better than allowing them to just randomly diverge I mean, when you look at it, most of the divergence right now is simply um, wording in the in the it, it's it's phrasing in the uh, in the repos, which obviously is a huge pain for people who want to mer merge stuff back and forth. Um, but yeah, you, if mean, you, actually... you mean name changes, just like open yeah. to versus lead. Oh, that's yep. horrible. That's a horrible thing to have to manage. I mean, yeah. <laughs> You said that, not me. I'm not the one who has to deal with it. So, I mean, uh, but uh, it, yeah, it's difficult. I, but I, I think ultimately when you look at the technical things that are going on, it's like, you know, you look at OpenWT, we want to do, or, or lead, like we want to do automated testing. OpenWT, we want to do automated testing. You're like, so you both want to do the same thing. Like, there really is not, um, like I said, I don't think there's many practical differences between what everybody wants. It's just actually getting people to uh, and, and making sure that people realize that, that there isn't that much difference. Um, and I don't know what part we can play in that, if any. So um, I have I've not been commenting on the list because I feel don't feel that I'm going to add anything. So that will help. But I, I'm I'm no, I, I think I think that's optimistic. Right. Yeah, 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 that's probably the right way to do it. Um. I'm cautiously optimistic. Um, Purple Stamp by IOG Segment uh, is the next topic. Uh, we're going to have a meeting next week, and uh, Paul has kind of, uh, kind of uh, taken that on, uh, just kind of to work on a proposal before we start a peg. Obviously, we have to get it approved by the TSC and just uh, kind of figure out what it is we're going to propose and kind of the, the, the general... Um, outline of it i think is that a, that a good description paul do you think yeah i think so i think it's um you know it's when you mentioned the stamp before um as jeremy said it's one of those things where it's sort of a time and a place mm -hmm. it's exactly the way we wanted to take creator and it would make more sense if that was more purpley and creator was just sort of the, the hardware that we're doing it could be part mm -hmm. of it I've, I've put together a little presentation just getting it reviewed Hopefully awesome. we go through that on Tuesday, is it? I think it is. Uh, Wednesday. Wednesday, I think. Yes. Right. Yes. 
It's right after the uh, Open WRT summit meeting. Uh, summit uh, meeting. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yep. So yeah, that it should be good. But I think that'll be really interesting to see kind of where we can get that to go. Um, so obviously, I, I don't think we have any any restrictions on who can participate. But so if someone wants to be in there, please let us know. Um, but it should be good to just kind of work out what exactly it is that we want to do. Um, that's it for me. Other agenda items? Just um, just in, an, in a nutshell for the approval stamp program for the notes for this meeting. It's just mm -hmm. the, I mean, the first call about it is next week, but the purple stamp program is basically a, is it correct still to describe it as sort of a certification program that, the software runs on this hardware. I'm and seeing it sort of like that. Yeah, I mean, I, I think it's one of the things we need to. It's a little um, nebulous still for everyone. I think. But it's, I think the idea is, personally, that the idea is that we're trying to give people a bit of a leg up on IoT by saying, well, look, if you use this hardware, you know, we know that OpenWT and whatever it is runs on that. Um, and here's, here's the evidence that it does. Mm -hmm. And that just gives people a, that much more confidence in in the sort of the platform that they're choosing, right? Mm -hmm. That's how I see it. So yeah, Kathy, I think that's. I would I wouldn't go so far as say certification. I, I think I worry people think that <laughs> that involves money. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. that's a good point. It's mm -hmm. somewhat of of an endorsement program. Yes, we, that's better. We yeah. have evidence evidence that <laughs> OpenWD will run on a platform. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. And that it, that it, we feel that it's, you know, it's got the characteristics of whether that be features or, or, uh, or whatnot that fit your use case. So you can kind of either, exactly. as, either as an, an open source developer or as a company, you can just grab it and go kind of thing. And, exactly. And you could extend that to sort of security device management, all these extra things, which obviously like Ball Farm and OpenWT is a nice start and it can, mm -hmm. it can expand from there. Definitely. So, yeah, I think that's that's it for that. Um, anything else that we want to talk about in this call? All right. For me. Well, that's not. That's it for me too. Um. All right. Well, thank you everyone from for coming. Uh, please, uh, please, uh, don't hesitate to get involved on with uh, anything here and uh, talk on the list and uh, certainly join us uh, on the board farm list and, uh, and on IRC and bring up things that, uh, that are of interest to you. So uh, lots of stuff going on. Uh, thank you very much and uh, see everyone next week at uh, 9 a.m. See you. Awesome. Or whatever time zone it is for you. Yes, yeah. 9 a.m. Pacific. <laughs> All right. Yep. Bye. Thanks. Thanks, buddy. Bye.